what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office has determined that 19-year-old Kanika Jenkins' death at a Rosemont Hotel was an accident. She died of hypothermia from exposure to cold in a walk-in freezer. Alcohol intoxication and the use of a drug for treating epilepsy and migraines were significant contributing factors, the office said. She was found in a freezer on September 10th after she disappeared from a room at the Crown Plaza Hotel in suburban Rosemont. She had attended a party on the ninth floor with as many as 30 other people and wasn't found until nearly 24 hours after her disappearance, following repeated pleas to the hotel and the police by her family. Surveillance video released by the police days later shows Kanika alone wandering through various parts of the hotel and then through the kitchen area near the freezer where she was ultimately found dead. Now, this don't really do anything for me. You know why? Because I still believe there's a cover-up. Why was the hotel so hesitant about helping the mother find her daughter? Why were they so slow to release information? Why was the police acting so suspicious, so insensitive, so low down and dirty, so unaccommodating, so rude to the people who came to Rosemont simply to get answers as to what happened to their loved one. I don't trust Kanika Jenkins' so-called friends. I don't trust the Crown Plaza Hotel. I don't trust the Rosemont Police Department. And I don't trust the medical examiner's office. Shouldn't take that long to get those results back in a high-profile case. They're hiding something. They're trying to sweep it under the rug. It's a cover-up, I do believe. If it wasn't, why are so many people telling lies? Why are so many people changing their stories? Why are people who was there with her giving different accounts as to what happened? This is a cover-up. Don't think that just because a medical examiner says that it was an accident, that it really was an accident. Medical examiners have been known to be liars and thieves and crooks. It wouldn't be the first time that a medical examiner has lied. Y'all know they lied about the whole Kennedy assassination. They can lie about that. What else they won't lie about? A lot of people just can't wait for this to be over. So as soon as this came in, they were like, yeah, you see there? I knew it. It's over now. Leave it alone. Let it go. If I was in the mother's shoes, I would do an independent investigation and an independent autopsy. I wouldn't trust these folks. They lie all the time. Who knows what exactly happened, but I can tell you this. This is a cover-up. No way possible would I trust these people. All you got to do is look at history. Think about it. If they could cover up the Kennedy assassination, a sitting white president, a sitting white president, imagine what they could do to a little black girl from the west side of Chicago. Come on now. What I want to know is, who got the room? Who rented the room? Who bought the alcohol? Who invited the guest? At the very least, there's a manslaughter charge here. 
this information that the coroner has put out actually raises more questions than it answers, proves nothing. I don't believe them. No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.